Sammy Ball would be a combination of today's version of Tom Brady, Brian Mormon, and Ed Reed. Three all-star players at their positions all rolled into one. Sammy was a league leading passer, a league leading punter, and a league leading interceptor. So uh, to have all those guys uh, on your fantasy football team with just having one player, uh, that would really be the that would be hitting the trifecta. When you're on the field, you've got to feel like you're the best son of a bitch that's out there. As a quarterback, Ball was just that. In the 30s and 40s, he took the forward pass, traditionally a last resort, and made it the weapon of choice for his Washington Redskins. I think the thing that really stood out about uh, Ball was his deep passing accuracy. The ball was fatter, it was, it was thicker, and, and not as easy to grip as it is today. And he had a tremendous ability to throw the ball down the field, a lot of times on the run or avoiding pressure as he was stepping into the throw and put it right on the money. Defensively, uh, just watching him play free safety, the range that he showed back there, um, you know, when the ball was in the air, he covered ground in a hurry. He ran well, tall, had long arms, and really had great range. So they played the ball very well. As a punter, he was just so far ahead of everybody else. There still hasn't been a player that's averaged, uh, you know, what he's averaged punting the ball in one season. In 1940, Ball averaged 51.4 yards per punt, one of many records he still holds today. Ball led the league in passing six times, a feat matched only by Steve Young. In 1943, he led the league in passing, punting, and interceptions, thanks in part to a game for the ages. Unquestionably, one of Ball's most memorable games will be against Detroit, where he had four interceptions and four touchdowns in the same game. That's uh, uh, like hitting the cycle four times in baseball, I think. <laughs> <laughs>